Hi, welcome. In this class, we're going to see and we're going to learn how to read electrical diagrams for motor control and to see the connections that the motor needs to have in order to be controlled effectively. This class will be about that because this is not the correct way to represent a diagram. This is only so you can understand with drawing how does an electrical control function. And well, this is not a standard, this is just drawings. So as you can see, we have line 1, line 2, line 3, neutral, and ground. And we have some symbols here. We have an arrow that they are coming from the streets, they are coming from far away, and that we are um, connecting them to a terminal. A terminal are those dots that we have at the diagram. And, and as you can see, we have other symbols that I will explain later on. But what I want you to understand is the use of terminals. This is very important because the terminal has one end and it has another end where the cable will lead. So I will show you really quick some terminals from some images. So here we have the photo of the terminals that we have at the electrical panel. And as you can see, we have one wire up there and another wire down there. And we have just two holes. If you see, we have two holes for a screwdriver and that they will press the cable and make contact. So a terminal is just joined by a plate that will connect them together. It's the same as having a full wire there, but uh, with this terminal we can control uh, the, the problems with electrical wires and we can control each cable correctly. It's just a way of organizing things. And if you see we have the two holes here, we have uh, one end from the start and the other one to go to another part and as you can see we reach another element and that element is called the main connector that will be the main switch the one that will turn on the machine and i have some images that you can see so here is the main switch Connector, so you can look at them and we have three lines The three lines that we have at the diagram, they are coming from the outside And they, they will go down to the electrical panel Here you can see the zoom in and we have some letters there with line 1, line 2, line 3 And down there are the cables that will go to the electrical panel They will energize the electrical panel So if we want to know how does it look like uh, complete, we have to go to the other side. It will look like this. If you turn it around, it will turn on the machine or it will turn off the machine. But you have to be very careful because it will still have energy, even if you turn it off, because the energy is coming from the street. This will only turn off the energy from inside the control panel, but not from the top of the connector. The top of the connector will have energy. Just the thing that is going down the connector, down the main switch, will have no energy. The top will have energy, so be careful. So here we have some interesting information. We have the voltage of those lines, and we have something that we can use to read. And we must note that we have coordinates at the page, so we can locate the elements within the page in this case we we are at the coordinate number nine and we have a name for our wires line one line two line three and we are at page well they will go to page 101 to coordinate zero now we have the next page the previous page where we came and the number of the page is down there so here we have the continuation of the elements, so we came from page 100.9, nine is the coordinate that we were, remember, and they will connect to some breakers, those are protection elements, additional protection elements for the control panel. The first one is operated manually, this will be operated automatically when a discharge or an overcharge will be detected, they will 
go down and they will turn off so they will open the contacts and the control panel will be protected the elements within there will be protected so when we follow along we will find another electrical uh, components those that I am selecting are the cables the type of cable that we are using and then we continue we found a transformer so we already know what is an alternating current and a direct current this will transform from an alternating current to direct current that we will use to turn on the PLC for example the PLC is an element that we use to control devices but in this case they will not control the motor so you will find some um, images of a transformer so you can look at them and here we have the full control panel we have the breakers there the electromagnetic breakers that is the name of those things and we have to search for the transformer and we have a power supply that is kind of like a transformer that will transform 170 volts or 120 volts sorry to 24 volts direct current and this is the real transformer this is the one that is transforming from the three phase to one phase so we can use it at the power supply and we can control some elements for the PLC again the PLC is not the main focus of this class it will be motor control so I will go and continue with the connections for a motor control so if you can see here we have the three connections line 1, line 2, line 3 and a neutral and they are connected to this network of elements and finally to the motor okay so we are going to see each element remember that those are the type of wire that we are using and down there for following those we have the motor protection so we have an additional level of protection after the electromagnetic breakers this difference the difference with this is that this will protect the motor this is motor protection it will only protect the motor from overcharge so when the amps get uh, overloaded it will detect that they surpass the amps that we want and they will open the contact so we don't have energy and down there we have the contactor the contactor is a device that is similar to a relay when we activate the coil of the relay the contacts will close and they will permit the pass of the energy so this will give us the controlling moment to start the motor so we will tell it by using the relay and some signal from the PLC maybe when we want to turn on the motor and that way we can program it it will not control the motor it will just control the turning on and off of the motor so if we go to the next element we'll find some connections and some terminals again so it's very important that you learn how to read these diagrams and to know the symbols so we have another type of connections and they have a new name UV, W, and PE UV and W are the phases they are line 1, line 2, and line 3 but they are not called like that in a motor they are called UV and W because of the phases and those faces are presented in a graph and those graph uses those letters UV and W but at the end they are the three lines the three faces okay so we have a three faces motor in this case we'll see it in a moment the, the diagram of the motor and the symbol will tell us and the, the thing with this UV and W part is that we are connecting after the contactor we're connecting it to a motor driver the motor driver will control the motor that rectangle is the motor driver and it will go out to the motor so we have the connections for the motor driver 
that will control speed, power, and the soft start, etc. And this is the motor driver. This is the one that controls everything with it, alternating current motors. So if you see, they are complex devices, they are not so simple. And down there we have the connection or the wires that will go to the motor. So if you, if you have been following, we have the connections from the street. We have uh, the main power connector, the main power switch. We have the protection, the breakers. Then we have the motor protection. After that, we have the contactor. After that, we have the motor driver. And at the end, at the exterior of the control panel, we we'll have the motor. That's why we have a dot line. That dot line represents an external component. Whenever you see a, a dotted line, it will mean that the element that we're using is um, it is not at the control panel, it is at the exterior of the control panel, it is in another place. So if you can see in this image, we don't have a motor there. That's why, because the motor is in another place. So if you... Um, okay, so we have the motor here and inside that box where the cable is uh, entering we have the connections for the motor remember that the type of connections depend on delta and star connections we'll see them in a minute we already talk about it in another video and if you see we have all of the information for the motor in the diagram we can also search it at the plate of the motor and inside of the of the lid so how does it look like inside that box it looks exactly like this we have some plates and we have for wires if you notice we have line one line two line three and a ground that is the green one in this case they are not called line one line two line three they're called uv and w they change names when they enter the motor uv and w are the faces and talking about faces may be confusing so we'll call them coils uv and w are the coils of the motors that will control the faces and you see at the symbol we have a name for the motor, a tree, and an alternating wave. So we can know that it's a motor, a three-phase motor of alternating current. And some electrical properties there. And at the lead of the box, we have the information of what type of connection we're using. If we're using delta one or star connection, a star connection or delta connection. So if we look closely, we are using delta connection because we need more torque. So as we need more torque, the plates will be in that position. So see those um, metallic plates that are connecting each screw with the other one? That is the way we connect the, the plates so we can use a delta connection. And that's it. Finally, we have all of the elements from a far away view. And that is the way that we control the motor, that we connect the motor. We have to have, remember, a motor protection, a contactor, so we can control the turn on off from a PLC, a motor driver, and the motor itself with the connection that we need, delta or star. Thank you, and see you in another video.